Hey guys! Today we're going to talk about a machine which goes into space. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a rocket! Um, what is a rocket? It's a machine which goes above the atmosphere into the space. Why do we use a rocket? Um, we use a rocket to travel in space. If a rocket carries a rover, it um, takes it and leaves it off on a moon or any other planet and etc. Or if it carries um, a satellite, it puts into it, um, it leaves it into the orbit of Earth, the moon, or any other planet's orbit. And if we go into the rocket, we can go for a space tour. Oh, that's fun. Do you know a man-made thing is floating in space? Yes, it's the International Space Station or, or ISS. The ISS is made of many satellites combined together. It is run by solar energy. And do you know how it gets the solar energy? Yes, it has solar panels. We use solar panels in many, many other things in Earth. Same like that, they use solar panels in the ISS. And even uh, other satellites have the solar panels. Next, now let's see the parts of the rocket. So, starting from the top, we have the payload, play, payload system. Um, this is the um, this is the place where they carry the satellites and the rovers to space. And next is the guide way. It's not guide us, it's guidance. So let's correct this mistake. It must have been my dad's fault. Let's erase this and write guidance. Dance. Much better. So let's get back to the rocket's parts. Now, the guidance system guides the whole rocket. It's like the brain of the rocket. Okay? Next is the fuel tank. Everybody knows the fuel tank. Cars have it, bikes have it, every transport has it, as well as a rocket. Next is the fuel tank. As we know, the fuel tank carries fuel. And do you know um, which form the fuel is? It can be solid or liquid. Next, it's the oxidizer. Um, the oxidizer carries oxygen gas in it. Wondering why they are carrying oxygen gas in a rocket? Let's see. Uh, the fuel and oxidizer are pumped into the com composite system and a spark ignites from the spark plug inside the composite system. Then, the heat from the spark goes to the nozzle and thrust is produced, sending the rocket up. Get it? And it produces heat and is pushed into the nozzle and creates thrust, which lifts the rocket into space. And while all this is happening, too much heat is produced and it could damage the fins or any part of the rocket and could e even burst the rocket. So to maintain the heat, um, they have stored water below the launch pad and when, when the thrust is about to come out, they release the water and it reduces the heat coming from the ro rocket. Then the rocket goes up into space. 
Have you ever seen a rocket launched? Do you know what's a launch pad? Launch pad is the place where the rocket is, st is standing upwards and getting ready to launch into space. And when it's about to launch, and there will be many smoke coming, right? No, it's not smoke. It's actually water. Okay? And there will be trillions and millions of water coming out. And they'll not be wasted. They'll be recycled and ready to use again. Let us look at a 3D model of all of this. Uh, me and my brother made a 3D model of the rocket launch pad and etc. with Lego. So let's look at that. Come on. Okay, so here's the launch pad and here's the rocket. This is the satellite and this is the wagon which carries the rocket. And this is the booster carrier, and these are the boosters right here. And we can attach the boosters here. Okay. Do you know what this is? This is the rover. I'm going to send it to, the, to Mars to find whether there are aliens on Mars or not. Um, rovers can take samples of rocks, dust, minerals, and etc. from other planets. Mm -hmm. So here, this is the workshop and here's the rocket and the wagon which is going to take the rocket into the, to the launch pad. So let's put the rocket into the wagon right here. Okay. Let me lock it to make sure that the rocket doesn't fall off in the travel. Uh -oh. Okay, now let's take it to the launch pad. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. Uh oh. <laughs> vroom, vroom, vroom. Now we're going to reverse this wagon. Bam, bam, bam. This and I'm going to take the rocket and put place it in the launch pad upwards. Mm -hmm. So now let's move this vehicle from this launch pad for the next vehicle, the booster launch, to come and let's place the boosters on the rocket. Okay, now it's gonna go. Boom, 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 boom. Next, the booster launcher is going to come and reverse. Bam, 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 bam. Now we need to take the boosters off. Ouchie. The booster exploded. Let's just fix it off. <laughs> Done. Next. Easy. Now. Let's take this away from this place. Now we're going to attach the boosters to the rocket. Now the rocket is ready to launch. So let's launch it. Whenever we launch a rocket, we see the countdown. So let's start the countdown in 10, nine, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. The rocket is departing from the land and going into space at a whopping seven miles per second. Then only can it escape the Earth's gravity. Right about here at 28,000 kilometers above the ground level, these two SRBs or side side rocket boosters are going to depart from the rocket and go, fall down into the ocean. Now 
we're going to go up, 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 and right about here, the external tank departs and falls into the ocean. Now the pay payload um, contain compartment goes up, up, up into the orbit of Mars. Now the four bo burning boosters are going to turn this way and come slowly down to Mars. Slowly, 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 I want them to land. Now the rover expands and now it's ready to find whether there are aliens. Now let's move here. Wait a minute. There, there's my math book which I searched all day long in my home. Let's move around. There are many books here. And let's go. Hmm. Wait a minute. My brother is on Mars? What? And he's doing homework. Hi. Don't tell anybody. Okay, brother. Let's jump to Earth. Okay, let's jump on Earth. Woohoo! Whoa! Phew! Okay, I land safely. Wait a minute! Where's my brother? Oh, where's my brother? Huh? He's not here, he's not here. I'm here, I'm Crockster. Oh. Wait, we forgot our homework! Maybe we should bring the books on another adventure. Hey guys, did you like the adventure? I liked it so much and I loved the part when he was doing his homework on the moon. That was hilarious. Me too. Oh. If you like this video, please subscribe and share this to your friends and families. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye guys.